I would like to preface this video with a shout out to my newest patron. Thank you for your generosity, Cody, and I hope to exceed your expectations. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to me through a private message or on Twitter at a helping hand for me. You know, if Google's complete lack of viable channels for live support regarding any of their products wasn't proof enough that they don't give a fuck about the people that make money for them, let alone their paying customers, this crap that they saw fit to include in their month in review email makes it quite clear that they don't actually pay attention to what's happening on their own platform. No doubt, it also made its way to the inboxes of anti-feminists and anti-SJWs much bigger than myself. Hashtag her voice is my voice? No, it most certainly is not. When we're connected, it means we all believe in each other. Nice. Not only do they set their video to sappy piano music, but they start with a line from someone who still has all of her baby teeth. Because think of the children! Is that what it means though, little girl? Because for the past several generations, women coming together specifically as women has virtually always been about an oppressed disbelief in men's ability to understand or care about perceived injustices against them, justified or not. So do we really all believe in each other? And I believe that you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. So do it. That's right, little girl. You, as a female, absolutely can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Because there is no glass ceiling, there is no pay discrimination, and there is absolutely nothing stopping you from calling spaces and activities of perceived male exclusivity bigoted and smashing them with a sledgehammer to the thunderous applause of progressives everywhere. When you're a woman, you can even rape or murder a man, and there's a good chance that not only will you get away with it, but you will win the sympathy of the jury if you simply shed a few tears and claim to have been abused in some way. I realized that I had a purpose, and it wasn't just about me. Then who was it about, Ellen? Because it certainly wasn't about the men who were committing suicide in drastically greater numbers than women, or the men who were falling out of society and into homelessness at a far greater rate than women. It definitely wasn't about the men who were assaulted and murdered at a greater rate, who have no subsequent support structures or politically potent movements specific to their gender. And it's damn sure not about the men whose voices you are essentially calling irrelevant with this virtue signaling hashtag. Together we can show the world how awesome it is to support one another and build women up. To support women and build women up in an age where women have a myriad of distinct advantages both socially and legally, are not barred from any space, and whose voices could not be heralded with more reverence whenever they see fit to use them about whatever they see fit to complain in the Western world. And let's be real here, YouTube. You aren't pitching this video to the Muslim men of Africa who insist on covering their women from head to toe in a tarp. There is nothing more powerful than a group of determined sisters. I can't keep quiet. No. I know, right? Look at all of the damage they did during the women's march. Just think how many men will be able to feed their families now just by the countless hours it will take to clean up their fucking mess. Or that bang up job they did with the gender equal snow plowing in Stockholm? Brilliant. Who knew that all it would take to fuck up an entire city's transit system is a snowstorm and a group of entitled, nagging, whinging, determined sisters. Now that's power right there. Let us fight with love. Fight with love, huh? This is what men's rights look like! This is what men's rights look like! This is what men's rights look like! It's just a white fucking trans racist fucking male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Get the fuck out of here! And get that camera out of my face! I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure feeling the warm and fuzzies. When somebody underestimated me, it made me want to prove them wrong. Seriously, YouTube? Did you seriously just use Condoleezza Rice to push this bullshit narrative of yours? First of all, feminists couldn't be bothered to attend and celebrate her confirmation hearings as she was ushered into the role of Secretary of State in 2005, choosing instead to spend that day bitching and moaning at Harvard President Lawrence Summers about the supposed shortage of women in power in STEM. And that is a dead horse they've been beating for 12 consecutive years now. Second, how is Condoleezza Rice not a prime example of the fact that women no longer need your patronizing shows of solidarity? Nothing about her gender, her race, or even her age stopped her from rising to that office over a decade ago, when most of the millennial feminists that you're pitching this crap to were probably still learning their ABCs, and that child with whom you opened this video likely wasn't even so much as a single cell swimming around in her father's ball sack. 
you know what? Perfection isn't real. Just because there is no such thing as perfection does not give you license to blame men for the beauty industry juggernaut that women fueled with their purchases, nor does it give you the right to spit in the face of modern medicine and hypocritically call men bigots for not finding you attractive over your body positivity nonsense. And for the record, as a man who isn't the least bit attractive, if your only problem is a little bit of facial acne, just shut the fuck up. I'd say nobody cares about your first world problems, but the shocking amount of people who actually do is just sickening to think about. You are great. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks of you. Yes, don't ever listen to valid criticisms. Don't worry in the least about objective truth or who your movement hurts to get ahead. Because you're a woman and your voice should be heard regardless of what inane shit you choose to complain about week after week. And fuck men for not dressing the androgynous stick figures of crosswalk signals in the dresses you so recently derided. That's what matters. This is the arrogance that has allowed feminism to become the rampant, unfeedable monster that it is today. So many people around the world have a very negative idea of what Muslim women are like. It's pretty simple. We're awesome. Nobody has a negative view about what Muslim women are like, YouTube. What we have a negative view of are those oppressive laws under which they are forced to live and the corporal punishments they face should they choose to disobey. Just because you choose to delude yourself into thinking that the burqa is a symbol of feminist empowerment does not excuse its actual intended purpose. I honestly still can't believe that the most blatant offense to women in the modern world is being touted as a positive example of female empowerment, let alone in a hashtag campaign placing emphasis on her voice even though her voice is silenced by the very religion you are compelled to defend. This awesome Muslim woman either had a Muslim man's permission to be on that stage and say those words, which any sane person knows didn't happen, or she lives far enough away from Islam's continent of origin that she can afford to be willfully ignorant of its grim realities regarding the female sex. I'm not a lone voice. I am many. For fuck's sake, who would choose to put Francesca Ramsey's smug face so damn close to a spinning camera, as if her image doesn't make people nauseous enough? It's like if Paul Mooney fucked a California raisin. Yes, sweetheart, you are many voices. Many shrill, shrieking, nagging voices who apparently will not be satisfied until men are no longer legally able to approach women, speak to women, look at women, think about women in any way that isn't prescribed by your ideology, or hold any position of authority in society whatsoever. Virtue signal all you want. The world is finally starting to see you for what you actually are. I am Malala. But I'm also Shazia, I'm Kainat, I'm Kainat Somro, I'm Mozun, I am Amina. And today, I'm not raising my voice. It is the voice of those 66 million girls. And yet, Malala was a victim of the very oppressive religion that you just thoroughly mischaracterized literally 25 seconds ago. Through your astonishing doublethink, you are willing to defend Islam in the very same video that you condemn the barbaric actions exclusive to it. And speaking of the state of South Asia and Northern Africa, we constantly hear India used as an example of modern patriarchy, implying that women are somehow seen as lesser than men within its borders. Honestly ask yourself, if that were true, would that same country be celebrating the violent actions of a group of female vigilantes who beat the shit out of male rapists with sticks? Would the Indian Penal Code hold women exempt from the crime of rape by default? And don't give me this shit about the ongoing fight against legalized marital rape. How many women do you honestly believe were ever indicted for raping their husbands in India? And in a society where women are truly viewed as less than men, do you think there would be a chance in hell that something like this would happen on national television? Why don't you go and fuck off then? You go? Oof. How can you snap? How can you slap? Be mad about bloody. How can she slap? How can she slap me? How can you slap bloody? For good. Bastard. Bloody bastard. I don't how can she slap me? You bastard. How did you hit her? I'll fuck your face right now. Islam is one of the last standing true bastions of patriarchy in this world, and yet it is the only religion that you will defend regardless of its message running entirely counter to your narrative simply because it is by and large not a religion of white people. Your insane spiral away from rational thought would be amusing if it wasn't so fucking dangerous. I, for one, could not be happier that the illusion of feminism is finally starting to break, but I cannot help but cringe in their over-the-top efforts to retain relevance as their ideology loses them political battles left, right, and especially center. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you saw here, have a look at my other videos and leave me your thoughts in the comments. If you support my message, then please like, favorite, and subscribe. If you'd like to help this channel improve, you can reach out to me on Twitter or on Facebook with any suggestions. And if you'd like to support me more directly, please consider following me on Patreon. Links in the description. Thanks again, and I'll catch you all in my next video.